Hi everybody! So today I want to go over the multiple ways that you can actually use this foundation. And a lot of people are like, well it's foundation, isn't there only one way to put it on? Actually no, there's multiple ways that you can use this for your skin type. I will always start putting uh, with putting on a moisturizer. There's many different ones, whether it be for oily skin, dry skin, combination skin. And that's something we can go over in another skincare video. But today, today, we're gonna go over how to put on foundation. Anytime before I put on foundation, I will start with a priming spray. I like the sprays more just because they seem less heavy for me. And this one personally evens out skin tone, reduces pore size and reduces redness. So I'm gonna start with this. I shake it up so it's all nicely mixed and I spray her on. I wait just a few seconds. I'll take this time to go wet my sponge or something of that nature. I'm gonna do this in different sections of my face to show you many different ways that you can apply this. I have my brush, which is my favorite, real quick, real easy. This is the diffuser brush. I will link it below. And then I have a wet sponge and a dry sponge. And many people actually don't know this, but you can actually put this on with a fluffy brush. So I'm gonna teach you how to do all these. First method that many people know and love is using the wet sponge. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna wet your sponge, you're gonna put this under, I wouldn't say hot water, I wouldn't say freezing cold, um, but you're gonna squeeze under it, fill it up with water, and then squeeze it all out. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this and you're just gonna twist this, one, two, three. You don't have to dig in there. This is probably too much for a little section of my face. I usually use this on half, but we're gonna do it right through this area just so you can really see. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it in, in this area, you just spread it out just like you normally would do with any foundation. You don't wanna take an abundance of this foundation, put it in one area and then spread it out. You really wanna make it so it's sectioned nicely. It's like my mom says, you know, during, and she always said this growing up, is when you get food, you take a small amount because you can always go back for more. Same thing with your foundation. So then I'm just gonna do a padding motion on this and we're just gonna blend her out as you can see, this has a full coverage. This has 50% pigmentation, but this is what it looks like with a wet sponge. Next, we're gonna go in with our dry sponge. We're gonna use the same method. We're just gonna do one twist, that's it. A dry sponge picks up more product and is very good um, for a dry, opaque coverage. So we're gonna do the same thing up in this section of my face. Again, we're taking those twisting patterns. Not so much twisting, you don't generally wanna twist on your skin, but just padding. And then we're gonna go through and we're just gonna blend that out. And you can see that this is a more dry and opaque coverage. This down here is a more sheer, sheer coverage, as you can see the difference. This is the diffuser brush. This is my personal favorite. Um, it's very simple to use. Again, I will link this into the description, but all you're gonna do with this is you're gonna place this and you can just go in a couple times with this. That's it. Very small amount. You don't have to push the brush in, nothing like that. And then you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna place it in those areas and then you're going to blend it out. And the way that I blend this out is more of a padding motion because many times with many foundations, when you're using a brush like this, you tend to swirl and that can leave brush marks. So you can blend with this with this motion. If you ever see a brush mark using any foundation, just go in and pat over it with that brush. You can see the coverage. Next, we're gonna go in with a powder brush. Again, you control the coverage of this foundation. I really like this for a nice lighter coverage. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this and I'm just gonna do the same motion that I did with the diffuser brush. And I'm just gonna go back and forth here and I'm gonna place. Same thing when you're using this brush is you can do circular motions and then you can go over it with a padding motion. And you can see that this has an amazing coverage. If you need a little bit more coverage, I do highly suggest this little palette here. I will also link this below with a color match matching quiz. After you take your quiz, I will personally text you and then we'll figure out what best foundation and concealer is for you. And we can also figure out which is best for you to apply with. The way that I like to put this on, many people will like to use the wet sponge or the dry sponge. I personally enjoy the buffer brush. 
it's like a baby brush to this one and it just goes on so smoothly and it just works so well for me. But I'll use both methods here so you can see which is best for you. What I do is I just go in and I just tap in here. You can see that I, it looks like I'm almost out of concealer, but this lasts so long. That's just a little amount that you need. I'm gonna start with this eye and you're gonna see that I can actually put this over my entire eye because this concealer also works as an eyeshadow primer. I said what I said. When I place this concealer, I put a little more here and a little more here for a more uplifting, and then I will just blend it out as we go down. And I'll also go over the eye so you can see the big difference. So you can see a big difference in my eyes here that this looks more bright, it looks more uplifting. That's what this concealer really does. And now I'm gonna go in this eye, try not to poke my eye out, with a wet sponge because that is what most people like to use. So when I do this, I do the same thing as that I go in here into the sides, just like I would. And we're just gonna place. Again, really focusing on the front here and going into the back. Now, if you have a couple of red spots, maybe some uneven skin, um, some, some acne, anything like that, you can go in with the sponge in your skin tone shade and do the same thing. And you can just take it and place it. I personally, again, like this brush. You'll see how much more coverage this gives you. because it's dry. And that is the way that you can put on our foundation in a way that is be most beneficial for your skin type. I hope that you like this. If you have any questions, if you'd like to see a different style, please feel free to put it in the comments below. I am more than happy to help you. If you like this video, please, as always, like, subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see a few more tips and tricks. Always know that you are loved, you are respected, you are worthy, and if someone does not tell you that every single day, I pray you tell yourselves, because it's the absolute truth. Bye.